Welcome to another video of Syncfix. In this video, I'll show you how you can enable virtualization in Windows 11 or Windows 10. So if you see, I'm using Windows 11 Home Edition. And in case you want to enable the features, so you'll go here into search and look for the features. And it is turn on and off Windows features. So if I go here, you will look for the Hyper-V. And here, if you see here, it only shows me Virtual Machine Platform and Windows Hypervisor Platform. So Hyper-V is not available in Windows 11 Home Edition. It is, of course, available in Windows 11 or Windows 10 Professional Edition. And even if I look for Hyper, so you don't see Hyper-V here. Here, I'll show you another trick to do that. If I show you this Hyper-V, I have created a text file here. What it does is that it will enable the feature of Microsoft Hyper-V. And so I have provided the text of this in the description below. And I have given you the link of blog also where this particular code is available. You will simply open Notepad and whatever text I have provided you, you will use this text and file save as and you give it a name hyper v dot bat so once you create the hyper v uh, bat file so the file name is windows bat file which means that it can run directly in windows so i'll just right click here run as administrator and yes now you see here it is adding the package from microsoft we'll wait for this process to complete and once these all packages are installed, it will ask you to restart. Just restart it. So once you have installed it, if you go here into features, turn on Windows features. And here you can see now Hyper-V is available. Hyper-V management tool and Hyper-V platform. And now if I go here, I'll show you. So this is Windows 11 Home Single Language Edition. And here you can see Hyper-V is available in Windows 11 now. And if I go here, Hyper-V, you can see here Hyper-V Manager. It is now available. So you can start adding the new virtual machine. Right click here, new and virtual machine. And then you can start adding the new virtual machine of any generation. This was a, one of the ways where you can use Hyper-V which is the native virtualization platform or hypervisor platform. So in case you don't want to install Hyper-V, I will not even recommend you to use Hyper-V. So the best virtualization platform that I recommend you to use for Windows 11 or Windows 10 is Oracle VirtualBox 7.0. This is the latest version available. You can simply click on download and look for the Windows host. Once you download, step by step, you will follow and you will install Oracle VirtualBox. So the process is simple. You will simply click Add Machine if you want to import any existing machine, or you can start with new. I will start with new and I'll give it a name, Elementary OS 7. And here it will be, of course, Linux and Oracle Linux 64 bit. And it needs 4 GB of minimum RAM. So I'll be going for 4 GB and two core processors next. So I'll be going for 40. And then existing virtual disk, of course, I will not use existing one. And here I'll finish this machine to be created. Now you can see here the machine is ready. So let me go back here in settings and attach the ISO file here. So here is Elementary OS. Okay, power it on now. Just start it. We'll do normal start. And here my machine is starting. So I'll just go for full screen mode. So this was all about enabling virtualization in Windows 10 or Windows 11. So hope you like this video. If you like this video, please hit the like button, share the video with others so that they can also take the benefit of this. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, press the bell icon to get the tips and tricks of Windows. See you in next video. Take care and goodbye.